sauce on my feet No recode, skinny noodle, no pasta Boy. Skin like lobster, I train like Creed Maybe then I will box you up like a takeout plate Sober, I don't need a drink until you bring tequila Mama Mia, now I'm feeling great, perfect Watch it so you gotta subscribe for your girl is. Get hammered like Ramona did Nas I'm on a thin line, need to get you some prize She won't five guys, not a train on thick thighs Get your mind at the gutter, bro, freak like old plies She handed it to me nicely, I might just widow wives Unsupervised, boss, no need for weak questions My plan is to cut for cute chick, but de-stressing Vacations on the beach, past quarantine reflections Chewing on some news, I'm not normally digesting All the in the business, making moves, we gon' make them then We pushing for them bands, we can hustle, then invest again Bitches looking basic, some of foreign, his is Mexican That Henny in the gin, combination What's up everybody, this is 4 Bar Loop with Nightlife And we just came into the Orange Soda Freestyle by this talented gentleman, the young gunner. I can't even say I can't even say a young gunner. He's a he's he's becoming seasoned veteran status out here for Tent City Recordings. I got Shane the Rapsmith in the building tonight. What's going on, night? Oh man, I can't call it, brother. Um, you know, we just trying to get things, trying to get things popping, man. Um, very, 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 very long Wednesday. So glad that I'm done with what I'm done with, and I can get to the fun shit. I feel you. I still got stuff I got to do once I get done with this, man. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. I got homework, plus I got tracks to record and master. You know how it is. Hey, man, I won't, I won't, I'll make sure I don't keep you too long then, man. We'll go ahead and get this, we'll go ahead and get this done. So how's your, how's your evening going so far, man? How's your week been going? What's been up? Man, it's been good, man. I just got back home. I uh, went to Missouri, helping out my mom. She moved into our new place. So, you know what I'm saying? I, Took a little break, went out there, hung out with the homies, hung out with the family. And now I'm kind of back home and trying to get back into things, trying to get things rolling. We got the video coming out, trying to record some other stuff. I'm just trying to work with the team. And you know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Yeah, man. So was it was it refreshing to get out there and get with your family, man? I mean, you know, you've been locked up and, you know, COVID's been kind of keeping everybody down. So how was it just to get out there and get away and be around family? Uh, I mean, you it's still a little paranoia. You know, with the COVID going on, I got a I got a grandma, you know what I'm saying? And then I got a cousin. He has a he has a little infant and he's going through some stuff. He had to get a transplant and stuff like that. So oh, man, I'm sorry. You know, that. He, yeah. So and they have a whole precaution system. So you can't even go into the house without washing your hands and all this other stuff, making sure you ain't been sick. So it's just kind of like going back there, seeing that even out in Missouri, it's like still the whole thing. Like everybody's still making sure trying to wear masks. Everybody's still keeping six feet. It's just, this whole thing is just so different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I haven't left since I this this thing popped off. I haven't left the city. You know what I'm saying? I haven't left the, the state. So this has been weird, man. But it was really nice being back home and talking to people. And I just made sure I was good. And then everybody was everybody else was comfortable. So it was yeah, cool. man, it was cool. definite blessing to be able to get that get that situation, man, to, to be yeah. around family. So uh, speaking of that, man, so you was talking about Missouri and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so. For your humble beginnings, man. So where did you, you know, where did you get your start at? Where'd you grow up? You know, all that, all that nice stuff so people can get kind of acquainted with you. I appreciate you. Uh, so I pretty much got acquainted with music. Uh, so I well, started off, I was born in like uh Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Uh, oh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got it all jumping up. I ain't been back there forever. But then I moved to Cape Girardeau. Pretty much that's where my hometown is. So at the age of like 13, Got to the studio with my cousin, chopping it up. He was just like, he was bullshit. And he was like, hey, hey, Brendan, get in the studio, man. I was like, oh, man, let me see what's happening. You know, I listen to Wayne. So I was studying all them lyrics back then just because I was a fan. I was a big fan of Wayne. So I got in the studio trying to rap like Wayne. And then, like, apparently I killed that shit. Like, I still don't have a recording to this day. I've been trying to get it. But my cousin, apparently I was talking to my mom's when I went back home. And she said my cousin called her and was like, damn, Brendan can rap. Like, hold on. Like, this man might really be something at this. So I was like, okay, man, maybe I should keep trying this. So I linked up with this dude. His name was Jerry Buck. And uh, it was like one of my good friends back when we were younger in junior high. So we would kick it all the time. He had me come by to his studio. We recorded some tracks that you could still probably find on the internet today. It was a song called Smile, Slow Motion. It's, I'm all telling right. you, my voice was completely different then. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much where I got my start. I kind of like used those little puzzle pieces to kind of build myself up and give myself the confidence to kind of like keep practicing. And keep practicing and then i i started writing church raps for a minute that's and then dope. i kind of got back into my own thing and that's when i really started finding my niche in like senior year of high school and then it's just kind of been up and up from that man yeah man so so when you started off did you have like uh because you know i think 
everybody who starts off has to have like a fucked up rap name to start off with. Did you have like a do you have like a fucked up rap name when you started? Man, I used to go by Young B. <laughs> <laughs> I went by Young B. I went by B Dub, B Dizzle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it so you got all the Method Man aliases and shit, huh? Yep. I got took all of that shit. I was trying to be New York. <laughs> I was trying to be New York. You know what I'm oh, saying? Man, that's, that's 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 all of us. Nah, I, I can't even lie, man. When I first started, I was I thought I was a uh, I thought I was gonna be Spice One Junior when Spice I came out, man. I, I was I was uh, yeah yeah dude. I used to <laughs> I used to call myself the Night Stalker. What? <laughs> yeah. How'd you go it from was, that to nightlife? You no, know, it was it was it was crazy. It it was a it was a whole metamorphosis for my groups. So I'm interviewing you, so I you we, we, right, maybe right, when right, you right, interview right. me, I can tell you that story. All right, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, speaking of that, as far as your influences, man, who are your influences? Uh, not only growing up, but you know who you figure your contemporaries are right now. Man, so when it comes to like the first, like getting my feet wet in hip hop, just I grew up on mainly like um mystical, uh DMX, Tupac, obviously. And then I feel like there's some there's some other sprinkled in there, like three six mafia and stuff like that that my moms used to bump. So that's kind of like I had that in the back of my head as a kid growing up. But then once I finally really started tuning in, it was like when my cousin started, like I started living with my cousin and he started bumping like Eminem. He started bumping 50 Cent, uh, he started bumping Nelly. Um, that whole mob, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was yeah. it? Uh, yeah, the whole P. Diddy and all that stuff. And that's when I really started to get into it. I'm watching Bad Boys. I'm watch- I'm getting into the whole culture of just how movies and hip hop kind of sync up and become one. And I'm understanding the culture. So that's when I started, like, uh, getting into Wayne, too, because Wayne started coming up from the Hot Boys, you know what I'm saying, with Birdman and then Cash Money Records and stuff like that. And I just tuned into all the young stuff that uh that wayne was doing with birdman like the um stunting like my daddy was like one of the first songs that i could remember memorizing yeah, that was hard word for word like man i'm telling you you know what i'm saying bullet gotta get me and i never been a that's pussy because my hood had never let joint. me you know what I'm saying? that's a slept on joint man i'm trying to i'm trying to tell you about stunting like my daddy that's just hard i'm telling you and i'm just a black kid in the suburbs so you know, i ain't living that street life but that shit sounded so hard to me i was like man i want to rap about that shit too but i mean you know what I'm saying? You ain't living and you can't be about it. So, but yo, that's I, an extensive palette, though, man. To have all, I mean, to range from like from mix, mystical to three six mafia to DMX, and the influence is so wide range. It's like you don't really get that nowadays, especially with somebody that's in a that's in a younger demographic. They're they're pretty much like, okay, I would hear I would hear Tupac and Biggie is usually the the two names that get thrown around, and then Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne mostly for for people yeah. that are that are in that age at that age range, but man, for you to be throwing them names out like that, man, um, that that says a lot about that. Says a lot about is just extensively how you how you view the culture, man. And oh I yeah, think the that's, styles. I think that's all about the styles, man, because the styles is so varied. And nowadays, it's kind of like it's blending a little bit more, but you still kind of see the subtle glimpse of style these days. But back then it was like, if you weren't super different from every other rapper, you really wasn't getting into the game. Mm-hmm. So that's why I liked like the nineties and the two thousands. Cause all of them were really trying hard to stand out. Like as far from other rappers as possible. Ludacris sound nothing like T.I. Sound nothing like Nelly sound nothing like Wayne. That's what I liked about hip hop. Everybody trying to do their own thing and find their own pocket, man. That's what I'm trying to do still to this day. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it's, it's very, it's just, it's been changed. And I think we're kind of undergoing to see a change with it again, where that's where that's coming back. So if anybody that um that hasn't listened to you before and you were just trying to like describe what your what your uh, what your rhyme style was, mm-hmm. what would you tell them? I say kind of like I feel like my rhyme style kind of hits more on the kind of like um kind of like the, oh, I don't want to say, I want to say like pretty boy type rap, but it's not like that, but it's more like, right. it, I feel like I I literally, I mimic more T.I. when I rap a little bit. Like I don't rap about the street shit, but the way his lingo kind of is, like I put a lot of vocabulary into my rhymes. I rap mm-hmm. with a little bit of cadence and some swag to it. So I was kind of like, I always compare myself more to like that. And then a little bit of Childish Gambino with kind of like, I can be sometimes uh, okay. like unorthodox. But I still come in with some hard punch lines out of nowhere. But I can tell you a little story and tell you about me in a way that you probably, you know what I'm saying, maybe haven't heard from a lot of rappers these days. Yeah, that's uh that that's that's a good point, man. I mean, for you to have 
again, that just that 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 broader range. And it's just it just you it's it's wise beyond your years as far as how you how you study the art form and who you're studying the art form from. You know, right. so that says a lot about what's going on. And when you hear your music, that really comes across. It's new. It's new yeah. school, but it had but it just has this old school undertone to it that people can really kind of that really people can really gravitate re- gravitate towards all about paying homage all about it so um what are some of your goals as far as music and maybe beyond music what, what, what are your goals so i mean right now the the clearest goal that i got when it comes to music is just i just want to try to get to a point where it's a sustainable living that's the main thing It's like, let me just make this. So then my primary focus is about making money from this so I can continue to make music without, you know what I'm saying? Having to worry about outside burdens. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right now I'm going to school and I'm doing some other things, working a second job, trying to, trying to get it. If I could just mm-hmm. primarily focus on touring, meeting people, helping people, that's the main focus that I want my music to be about hearing the stories that people tell me and how I can figure out ways to use my music to maybe like push forward an agenda for people to know, have knowledge of, you know what I'm saying, certain things that people don't know that are going on in certain people's lives. Yeah. Or, you know I'm saying, I just always, I just want to be a benefit with music. And I always just want to hit people in their core and hit people and you know, let them feel something. Because I feel like that's what music is all about. It's not about the money. It's really like, it's about making people feel something and making people feel like you relate to them. And I want to yeah. show people like, yo, there's a guy out here that's right next to you that's been through it. And he's going to pick himself up. And I want you to pick yourself up, too. Yeah. I mean, as far as. Like with music nowadays and stuff like that, and you see people and you may look at them and go, OK, well. They're obviously they're less talented than I am. I feel like I have something more to be able to bring in. Does mm-hmm. that bring you to a point of like, is it is there is there envy in that or is it more like motivation? Like, man, I already know if I get my if I get my chance, I'll blow the doors off these cats. Mm hmm. I, I don't know because it seems like it's a little bit it's a little bit demoralizing because it seems like the more the better you are at it then they kind of like they don't want you but it's like when you seem like you were like when you come out of nowhere is when they want you there's like oh you really not that great at this but I mean it's kind of catchy so I mean like we're gonna blow this up for you but if you like really destroying the song like you know what I'm saying how we we do like when we rap like we actually attack and we use it we doing the fundamental rap shit that we supposed to be doing right. people kind of like expect that so therefore it's kind of like it's not getting pushed as much these days it feels like but it's just a theory that i kind of got i said it was like you got a lot of cooking right now so yeah. um what are some of the things that um they can look forward to hearing from you or project yeah. wise or what, what's coming oh yeah definitely yeah so different vibes exactly uh I, this next album that's coming out called will is pretty much a compilation of the songs that i've been making with 10 city sandman and then I got my boy Nightlife right here with me on it, you know what I'm saying? We trying to rock. But it's just kind of like I'm trying to have fun with music more rather than make it just all about being serious and all about a message. Sometimes I feel like I, I get a little too caught up in trying to make a message that I don't have fun with the craft. So this album is a little bit more of that, but also kind of diving in a little bit more about who I am and some deep secrets that maybe I haven't revealed about myself yet that kind of I feel like made me who I am. So the, all you can expect from me is heat freestyles everything i'm just I, I find a beat and it hit me and i'm inspired by it i'm on my jordan lucas swag right now i'm just hey. i'm eating it there you go so as far as that whole will um i heard there's a breakdown as far as that will as far as the the um the oh, yeah. the, the, anal- the analogy the analogy for will the, the breakdown of the letters what's what's going on with that man will so Pretty much, I was just chopping it up with one of the OGs, Sandman again from Ten City, man, one of the coldest producers. So we just sitting down, we was talking on the phone, and he was just like, "Man, I need a, I need a, I need an album title." And I'm like, "Man, man, I, I ain't really thought about nothing. Like I've been trying to think of something." And then I kind of just came across like using my name, and then it's not really my name, name. It's like my last name, Williams. But all my friends and Cali call me Will, and I was thinking like, I mean, well, I do want to make this kind of like a personal album. So I wanted to just use Will, but then I broke it down. Like, maybe I can make it a, a what is it, an anagram? And you can, yeah. uh, and I just broke it down with W-I-L-L, with Intensity Lies Love. And then Intensity is actually the name of the compilation tape that I made with my my record label, Ten City. And then at the end, the, the love, that connects with my first album, Lost Love, where I talked about kind of like a man kind of 
fig- finding himself through losing a woman and gaining new ones and realizing that it's all about the love from within, the love in yourself, self love. So see, that's why, man, that's why I asked because I wanted, I wanted to make sure that you went in depth for that because I want people to understand, you know, the richness of of why that of why that is that it's just not just some standalone shit. It really had like it really have a base meaning. I think that's real yeah. dope. I'm super happy about that name. I was just I could not wait to release this. As soon as we came up with that name, I kind of got chills. I don't know if you know those moments, but when it, when something hits you and the idea hits you, like Lost Love, when that album hit me, I had chills. When I performed that, you know what I'm saying, on stage, and I kind of I felt the energy from that that song was giving off to people. It gave me chills, and this I feel like this one's gonna do it again. So speaking of the project, we had a visual. We're yes, breaking sir. the visual here for the one of the one of the dopest tracks on the album the single ride with me shane the rapsmith featuring myself nightlife Let's go. and we're gonna break it here so we're gonna play that next and then we'll go over some questions about it and talk about it a little bit more here on four bar loop i'm with it Gotta cut through rocks just to get up to the field Just to get a cut and a bite then chill Not really one to be caught up in the thrills Maybe once or twice in a month so chill Got a homie that's cool who be making all the moves Homie that's straight but be dealing with the blues Homie lift way too good throw me caught the wrong body shape through the wall like a silly cartoon But I gotta give props to the homies cause they really do the thing Life through the storm and it really fucking rain But after the work I'll be passing to the plane One day I'll be dropping hit shot in my name Down to the city link up with my community Pretty little little groups follow me right to the attic Real link act a fool turn up on stage They amazing my face I'ma set this shit ablaze Born to do this is too sick. Purpose of a change, I can learn some new shit. Yeah. Call me shotgun, so I'm known to kick back. McDonald's double one, ride around with Big Mac. I'm seeing the chit chat and talk for days. Yeah. I can mold you in a cover like a ball of clay. Wanna hang out with the shooters, I can step in clay. Then maybe somebody wanna come and ride for shame, but we'll see. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Snap for your boy like I roll the stands up. Party all night long, fucking throw them hands up. Let's go. What's up? What's up? Fuck that boss to work, fuck folding laundry. Need y'all in the crew and the cars behind me. Let's go. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Look. Hey. Black is what I'll be in. If a bad thing's coming, tell her bring a friend. Who is up? Look. Hey, who's really down to come ride? Hey, who's really down to come ride? With me. Who's really down to come ride? With me. Let me give you the scope. Picture. Throw you some game and I hope it don't miss you. Get you a dom. We up with a sister. If the family white, then they probably gonna lynch you. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to put pressure on you. It's on you. Don't listen to my lecture. Said to get a bill like it's architecture. Body of a guy's but a voice ran dresser. Leave her? Who am I to say? Just an ugly ass nigga who don't have a bay. Had a cougar walk up to me and she asked the same. But what I cuffed? Smash that is none of your business. Trying to meet a girl, put a rest on my friends list. Maybe take her out on a date with a big kiss and get her to my room, and I probably will end less. But no, too complicated. Meet a girl at the club and she hella faded. Try to talk, she was like, I'm super wasted. Well, I'm super mad. Too k with lag. Trying to level up, go secure it back. Do it legally without a gun and mask. Like smoking air, I am down to class. Number one, be your one. Have some fun that we done. Now.
me. All right, man. So it's almost like seeing that visual again for the first time. Like it's it's so crazy, dude. It's so crazy. Uh, you know, how do you feel about how it came out? Man, strange ever at secret level films, man. All I can say is, man, I gave that man a round of applause because whenever we were sitting down chopping it up about how we were gonna shoot the film and you know what I'm saying and get everything lined up. I did not picture that he was going to make the transition so smooth in the effects. You know what I'm saying? He didn't layer it too much. Everything kind of fit with the vibe of the song, the party, the happy. You know what I'm saying? He hit everything exactly how I wanted it to execute it perfectly. Yeah. So how was that? I know how the process was for me, but how was it for you going through that process? Now, was that was that your first video shoot or did you have have you had that a video was, shoot before? That was my first like ever full on experience shooting my own video. So how was that? How was that process for you, man? I mean, I, I just mm -hmm. being it being in the moment, I can speak to it, but I want you to speak to it. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the whole experience. Like uh, each idea that we came up with just kind of like I feel like it catapulted us into the next one. So we would get the one thing done. Then we was like, boom, let's go over here and do this. Boom. Let's go over here, ride the bike down the street. Let's uh, let's film in this. Boom. I was like, this is this is exactly what I was hoping it would be like. It's just free flowing ideas just coming out. Everybody just throwing out something. Boom, we do it. It was a whole fun experience. Like I could have, I could do that a million other times. I can keep doing man, it. Man, <laughs> it was a, it was a long day that was not long. Yeah, to, to me, all. it was a long day that was not long. Man, that was so. We had so much fun doing that, man. And everybody was so cooperative, and everybody was collaborative, yeah. and just you know, your people was so, your people was so gracious. To allow us and allow us in your home and shoot, and yeah. you were gracious for allowing us come in your home and shoot, and everybody treated us treated us good, man, and came out and just it was a it was a good vibe, man. It was a good vibe. I had a good time. It was great, especially getting the cars out there. I got all the homies to come up. A few of the homies they weren't sure if they were gonna be able to pull up, but they came through for me, and we was out there rocking. And oh yeah, they gonna they about to see how it turns out. They see, that's the, that's the funny part because they was like, there was a couple of them was like, man, I want to be on camera. I don't want to be on camera. And then yeah. all of a sudden, they come out, they got the flyest parts in the video. I'm yeah, like, yeah, my part ain't even dope like that. <laughs> I, they're just sitting there, just cooling, just yeah. When they got the easy job, they ain't had to, they ain't had to I'm, I'm lip sync, you, nothing. Man. They had to do none of that stuff. They was like, when we getting paid, I'm like, getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, when I get it, y'all get it. That's what I right. Talking. There you we go. That's how the, that's how family work. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right, so moving on to other to, to other things and visuals. As far as how do you think the I know you want to tell a story with Will. So yeah. how do you think the visuals are going to tie into being able to tell that story? Because I think that you know, ride with me was the party. Mm -hmm. um, what other elements are you looking to try to add for that? So I'm kind of thinking of adding a serious element. Um, the next song that I'm kind of thinking about recording is this song called No Running. And No Running is kind of like, I have it as a mixed kind of song. So it's basically kind of like the beginning of the song, the first verse, it's kind of just like, it's a little more fun, free flowing, but it's also kind of letting off my frustrations a little bit with the bars that I'm letting off. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying, towards other people, you know what I'm saying, towards racism, towards other rappers talking about like, you know what I'm saying, ain't got no competition in the game. Like, like come on, son. But and then we got the second verse where I really get deep and I get dirty into some old stuff that uh that I feel like it's kind of made me who I am a little bit. It's kind of like a, a very traumatic event that I went through with my moms. And I talk about that really deep. So I wanted that visual to, to kind of get on my serious side and see exactly like who what I'm about and what I you know what I'm saying what I stand up for. That's what I really wanted it to be about. OK, so as far as um, let's get into the uh, the, the 10 city side of things. So, um, what was your, what was your experience? How did you, how did this come about as far as you joining, you joining Tent City? Man, so I would say this has been like, what, three years ago, uh, I kind of sat down with uh, Sandman and we were just like, we were chopping it up and uh, him and one of my other mentors, his name was uh, Omar Williams. Dude put me on, he like, I used to like train rap with him. He would put me on to some, some real unorthodox beats and I would just train up writing it's some you know, bars like and he he was testing my skills he really was trying to test me because if i if, like any other dude on a basic level wouldn't be able to write on that but i figured out a way to make a cadence and he was just kind of like fucking with it and he was like you know what i'm saying i passed this test so after that he decided he was like oh man yeah i'm gonna uh, hook you up with some of my guys and he put me up with saying man we sitting there in the car busting a freestyle in the middle between like 
uh, on our lunch break at work. And I was just like, yeah, he was like, oh, man, you killed that shit. It's like, I'm going to be in contact with you, bro. So we started talking. And then he uh, had a whole group meeting where I met up with him, you, and then this uh this dude, J.O. And, man, it was dope. Like, we all started syncing up, you know what I'm saying, Get started rapping, started figuring out the game plan. And it's been, it's been dope since. Yeah, man. And, you know, getting into when that breakdown came in and when we – we got in the studio and we got to we got to vibe with each other like the first time we were all around each other and stuff, man. Mm-hmm. The sessions were full of energy. They full, they're always full of energy, always full of fun. And but it's also a competitive element there, man. Yeah. What do you think? Um, as far as the competitive side of it, what do you think that you've gained out of it um, so far with, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of pins in the room yeah. and you kind of want yours to be here all you always want yours to be here yeah. so it's like you know how did you, how did you how did you um you know how you how do you feel what did you feel like you got from that i feel like i had a better understanding of how my style is because like hearing hearing even how like sandman raps you know what i'm saying and then jo and then you y'all all came out like y'all all come at a beat way different so the way that i i would do it you know what i'm saying i would try to like yes i'm trying to out like outright y'all but it was just kind of like not in the same way. I wouldn't try to take your style or nothing. So I was trying to figure out how to do it with my own style or try to figure out how, how can I flip my style even more to be like way more unique than everybody on the song to give it a whole different element. And I feel like that's what it did. It just tested me and just made me just, you know, figure out how to throw punchlines in more creatively. It made me figure out how to, to stay on topic a little bit more creatively. Like everything just kind of pushed me mentally to just be a better rapper and a better writer. You know what I'm saying? Just a, a better rap smith for real. Yeah, I mean, when you when you're in those when you're in those situations, I even look at it myself. It's like, you know, sometimes you be a nomad, you record record a lot of stuff alone, and there's not people in that room with you to be able to kind of just be like, eh, you might want to tweak that, might want to fix that, or whatever. You know, um, that's a lot of things that I've had to that I've had to deal with and learn mm-hmm. from. You know, even regardless of what your age is and how long you've been rhyming or whatever, there's still things that I learn from you. There's still things that I learned. Sandman may not have the lineage as far as as far as rhyming as long as I've rhymed, but I still learn things from him. And right. I think that those things are important to have people in the room with you to be able to collaborate and say nothing. Now, I don't need nobody to pick up a pen and write shit for me, but for we sure. do. We do need to be able to iron sharpen iron and kick ideas off and, and to be able to keep keep everybody in a positive space. And I think you're always a, you're always a good ear in the room, you know, when 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 we're recording. And when we're doing when we're doing things, man. So I want to give you flowers in regards to that, man, because it's always like I said, mm-hmm. you you're professional, you're ready to go at all times, man. And that's definitely serving you well right now, man. And this this project is gonna tell a whole hell of a story as far as the hard work that you didn't put in, man. And I'm just excited for it. Man, I really appreciate it because I ain't gonna lie, just being in the group has just been it's just been a challenge in myself because I've just been trying to figure out like where where do I fit in and how can I how can I like how can I help put the team on my back? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can I help carry the team to, you know what I'm saying, the next level? Like, what rhyme-wise, how can I do it creatively? You know what I'm saying? Songwriting-wise, because I don't I don't try to write the same song twice. That's my faith. That's my, like, one of the best things that I feel like I've gotten out the group is, like, it's just pushed me to not try to write the same thing twice. Always, if I'm going to change it up, I'm going to make it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to blow this shit up. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to rake havoc. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good. All right, man. So, um, in the words of my dude BG, it's about that time. Oh, so we yeah. gotta, um, you know, sometimes you get creative and you gotta drop that four pack on a man. And we are gonna talk about a uh, four track mine. I know you watched the. I know you watched four bar loop before, so you know four track mine is just a series of question questions. You gotta hit it yes or no, man. There is no in the middle. There is no kind. There is no. I played the fifth. You just got to answer the shit to the best of your ability and stand on your answers. Yes so, or no? That's it? It's, yeah, that, that's it, man. It's, it, it's, a either, it's a either or, brother. So it's, that's, that's, that's the choice. There, there's, no, uh, there's no third. There's no C. There's no F. There's just A and B. That's going to mm-hmm. be your choices. So um, we'll go ahead and get into it. So for track one, mm-hmm. one of the things that I love, one of the things I love is that you have a like we talked about a wide base of hip hop right so we were so we were in the car and we we're having a convo about cole 
And he was in about the drop in the freestyle that he did over all right by Kendrick's all right. Right, right. So your career is coming to a close. Or maybe it's maybe it's maybe not coming to a close. Maybe it's taking off. And mm-hmm. you got to you got to dra- you got to drop one last freestyle. And you have the choice of just these two beats. You got Cole, no role models. Or you got Kendrick, hold up. Which one you pick? Yep. ADH, like, oh, from Section 80? Yes. That's why I said they throwbacks. Man, hold up. Easy. (laughs) Oh, man, I've been waiting to rhyme on that officially for a minute. I love that beat. Mm. Yeah, man, I figured that. I figured that. I thought that. I thought it was gonna throw you for a loop, man, because I know you're a big Cole fan. So yeah, I know um, Roma is cool, but I feel like I ain't gonna lie. It got it got outplayed to me. I love that song when it came out, but no Roma got outplayed. But nobody talk yes, about I, Hold Up. That's still like that's one of my songs that's in the pocket. I should have picked something that was a little that wasn't a single off that album. That's what I should have yeah. did, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we going on the track too, man. Uh, we know your inspirations and. Uh, you know, sometimes you, sometimes your inspiration comes comes out of tribulation. Mm-hmm. You know, what do you think moves your pen further? The unfortunate death of a loved one or a broken heart? Man, I said after that last album I wrote, I got to say a broken heart. That's definitely the driving force for some of my songs. A lot of the time, like I'll just I reminisce and that, that feeling is so strong. And for me, like like death, I death like impacts me but it doesn't like it doesn't hit me that hard as i think it would like i've never had like an immediate family death but like i've definitely like i've known some some immediate family from my immediate family like my uh my godmother passed mm-hmm. away and that was like that was really hard on my mom's and it was hard on me too but it wasn't like it wasn't as hard i don't know how they really explain it. it's just like i don't have a numbness to death it just doesn't affect me as much as like a broken heart does and i've just realized that about myself no, that makes a lot. That makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, you know, you, you get a, you get a lot of, I'm, and it's kind of a selfish thing, but you do get a lot of mileage out of, out of heartbreak when you, when you're writing that, that's the gift that keeps on giving. Cause you can write, Y'all, you can write from different, books, from different novels. elements, places, yeah. times, Shakespeare. you know, ex- that's what different I- experiences, man, I'm telling you, it is so like that mm-hmm. it's, it's, just, um, it's an unlimited palette. Yeah. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> um so going into track three man we didn't went we didn't got the we didn't got a good solid base with track one and track two now we got to get into that good middle that good middle track that everybody needs to be able to be that glue for the album <laughs> oh indeed so the cure has happened and covid is gone you got two options to celebrate okay you either go out to the club with your folks or are you rocking a stage in front of uh, in front of strangers? How many strangers? Uh, enough. Uh, <laughs> What's enough? enough? Enough. You got a crowd. You got a crowd. You got a crowd. I'm not. I'm not saying you at uh, you at Coachella, but you got a crowd. So hit the club or hit the stage, man. Dang, that is actually a little bit of a hard one because I do want to turn up, but I gotta say I hit the stage. I gotta hit the stage because I've been I've been wanting to. I haven't having that itch this whole quarantine. I've just been kind of like every time I write something new, I'm like, man, I want to, I want to perform this and see and get a crowd reaction from this and see what's, you know what I'm saying, and see what's popping. So yeah, I right. definitely gotta choose crowd reaction. I gotta get on that. I gotta. All right. It. All right, cool. We getting we getting to the end. We getting the last track, man. We uh we we getting ready to we getting ready to send them home. Send them home happy. Okay, come on. So the phone rings for you, and a rep for two artists. Need you to be in the studio same day, same time. You oh. gotta pick one feature. You gotta pick one. You can only pick one. So is it TDE calling for Kendrick or is it Cole in Dream and Dreamville? At the same time. Gotta pick one. Gotta pick one to go. Dang. This is no came to the fork of the road, went straight shit. You gotta pick one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pick one, but <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna pick one, but it's definitely like if it really happened, it would depend on the beat. What kind of beat am I rocking with? Is it a more open vibe beat or is this a more conscious lyrical beat? But this is them telling you. 
I know. I'm just. We need. We oh, need Shane in the studio oh, for man. this feature. I I need this. I need this man. They both representatives have called you on the same day. We need you the same day, same time. We need you in here for this feature. Where are you going? I gotta go with K Dot, man. <laughs> go man, them niggas is so raw. I feel like they're gonna push my pen to the next level without even trying. Like, I'm gonna be in there. Like, cause I I think real Holly a schoolboy Q and J Rock and and Abso. So yeah. I know I'm in there. If they talking about getting on the track too, I, Isaiah respond too. Oh yeah, Isaiah. Oh man, and reason hard, but I don't know. I feel like if I really got an opportunity, I could. I could I could catch it. I could be right there with reason. I could I could probably could beat him. I don't know. I, hey, hey, reason I, slept I, on. Yeah, reason is hard. Reason slept on, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie. His albums ain't hidden like I like I wanted it to. He, he TDE. He ain't giving me that. He ain't giving me that Isaiah flow. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me let me, let me just stop you. Let me just stop you for a second. Yeah. Let me stop you because I want you to understand something. The album that Reason did mm -hmm. for TDE was not produced by TDE. What he came, he came in with that? He came in with that album. Oh, well, we about to see what this next album. Was. Right, that's what I'm saying. So let's let's. Hey, the jury is the jury is still out. Although I did enjoy Reason's album just because of his rhyming. Yeah. But man, I want to see when he get when they put that they put that shit behind him. What it's gonna sound like? Big facts, big facts. I feel like the same will be for me. Like I feel like if any if I get a team behind me and people pushing me and be like, nope, rewrite that verse. I'm gonna hey, look. All right, bet. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> and you're telling me, oh no, no, write another one, write another one. That was hard, but you can come harder. I'm a shit. <laughs> say it, say less. It's going Man, crazy. Right? Classic. I don't even want to make a hit. I want to make a class. I want to make classics. I do not care about hits. I want to make classic songs. That's the and that's the best attitude to have, man. That is the best attitude to have. Because a lot of people want want the want the hit song. They want the hit song. But to yeah. me, to me, it's like what or what album are you gonna pick up ten years from now and get the same feelings that you that you felt when you first listened to it? Yeah. That's the most important element of an album. If you get that, man, yeah. you know I can I can pop in um, DOC. Nobody does it better. I can pop in Nas Illmatic. Illmatic. I, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I just I can I can I can throw in I can throw in the blueprint and I'll be right in that moment. Yeah. Right right in that moment. The aliens, man. Yeah yeah man. I'm Without a doubt. All right, so we thought the track was over, man, and all of a sudden they snuck in a bonus track. The volume comes back up, and all of a sudden here he is with the bonus track. Mm -hmm. So you have to – now you're a, you're a single man. Mm -hmm. So you're at a point, and you have, to lock, you have to lock one down, man. And you got your choice between – you got your choice between two. She looks good. She can cook. She got a bomb personality. Okay. But the other one looks amazing. Has a special set of skills. What are we talking about? She got a special set of skills. I, I don't need to go in. I don't need to go any further than that. Yeah. And. But she got a shitty attitude and can't cook. So we talking good, look good, can cook. It was the other thing she could do, the other, the first one. Oh, she got a bomb personality. Her personality is dope. Personality, all oh, bit okay. And then we got the fine special skills, but shitty personality and can't cook. Man, damn, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> it's hard for me to be uh to be really like into a girl that's. That has a shitty personality. That's like not sweet. I like, like I like a girl that's sweet, that's kind to people. You know what I'm saying? That loves people, not about herself. Like you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I definitely would have to go with girl number one. I got, got you. You just, you just made fans. I'm telling you, I, I would <laughs> easily. And the sec temptation, <laughs> temptation on number two, high temptation. But you no, know, I'll probably be like that's. That's some hey, uh, we can kick it, but that's yeah. the wild. That's the wild one night. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, I mean maybe a week or a month, I'm, I'm, depending on where your boy. At. If I if I met both of them, then the, the second one gotta go. But if I only if I met the second one first, and then okay, 
we in a whole nother field. So what's in what's in your what's in your stereo now, man? Or not in your stereo. I'm I'm sorry. We I'm 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 fucked up. I'm fucked off in the areas. What do you what is your what's your what's on your playlist right now? Man, hold on. Do I got a second to pull it up? Let me see. You don't have to pull everything up. Just give me a couple. Just give me a couple a couple of songs like from right like right now. Just give me a couple of them. Let me see. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Let me see. Pull up this Spotify real quick. I know I got some stuff ready to go. Boom. I said, what's in your stereo? My God. I got it. I'm telling you, I got too much. I gotta I gotta look through it. So I'm listening to that new Big Shine. Most definitely. That new Big Sean is hard. Hey, that I record was, with him and uh, that record with him and Nipsey, dude. Oh, I gotta, I gotta hear it again. That one, him and Wayne on Don Life. That beat, like I know I've heard that that sample before. That dun 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 dun. I'm like, what is that? I gotta find that. But he definitely like just he went crazy on that. I just love how that that song vibe. That's like some kind of like like some you just hit the finish line type music. Like I like that stuff. Uh, I'm listening to I'm listening a little bit of Juice World. Some uh the new joint of Lucas that just dropped that falls slowly and that uh and that was popping remix. Heat. I can't yeah. even be mad. It's just I've I've been zoning out to that. That Ashanti feature he got on there is so beautiful. Man, I've been just falling. Yeah, asleep. I seen that video. I'm like, dude, he I know he was messing up on purpose. Hey, it's day. Like, can we do that? Can we do that take again? Yeah, let me let's run that back. And she's like, oh, I gotta go. I'm like, no, I just want more time. I just want more. Come on, baby, stop playing. <laughs> Come on, you know what it is. But yeah, I got that. I've been listening to some old Ty Dolla Sign, Big Crit, been dropping some new stuff. And then uh, I've been trying to, uh, the weird thing that I've been getting into, which is like usually not weird for me because I'm actually a fan. I really listen to Jaden Smith. I like Jaden Smith's music, but his last album is a little different. It's a little, it's more like Tyler, the creator is right now. Like how Tyler, the creator been doing with Flower Boy and stuff like that. And Igor, it's kind of like- you know what's weird though is people don't really like Jaden Smith, and I, I like him. I, mean, I really like him. He's 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 really talented. He's really talented. Yeah, like he's been making music like since I've been making music, and honestly, I liked his music better than mine for a long time. I'm gonna be real. I just like how he just dude just has fun with music. Like you can tell he's just having fun. Like he don't he don't even have to do it for money because I mean he's rich as shit. So he just be rapping just for the culture, just for the art, and I respect it. So you looking at are you looking at anything like you looking at any like acting or anything down the road or stuff like that, man? Or is it just one of those things where hey, you want to just concentrate on, you know, picking up your pen and refining? Well, you know, I mean, that's one of the that was my first love night. My first love was acting. I did some I did some child plays and some child little movies and stuff here and there. I took some schools in at uh, at the college in my city. And then uh, I kind of like I dropped off with it for I, for a minute because I guess like I, I guess it wasn't cool. So I kind of just gave up on it because there was a moment in my life where i kind of like tried to be popular really wasn't a good moment in my life once i figured <laughs> out my road and i just be me i'm cool so that's when i did i acted the last time i acted was senior year and i did this play and it was called like streetcar named desire and it kind of like yeah it just made me it solidified that if i got older and i got a position i definitely would take full reign of that i love so you need to hit you need to hit strange up man y'all need to just get going ahead and get your little action movie off real quick I'm saying I'm trying to shoot these music videos you know? like a film, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting on, on get on some power shit. <laughs> Make me right, go. Man. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity to kind of uh before we get out of here, man. Let's go ahead and uh tell them where to find you, man. Your socials and all that nice stuff. Man, y'all can find me on everything at Shane the Rap Smith. Everything on Facebook slash Shane the Rap Smith, Instagram, YouTube, all of that. And I got my own website. So Shane the Rath Miss, it, it's exactly how it's spelled on screen. S-H-A-Y-N, all of that. Just use that all one word. And I appreciate you guys, and I would love for you guys to follow me. Give me any type of feedback y'all got on my music. Let me know what type of vibes maybe you want to hear, and maybe it'll give me new ideas and new inspiration. I'm always looking for new inspiration and always looking to work with new artists, people who have a vision. I'm down for all of that. So I appreciate it. Thank you. And that's Shane with no E, please. I had to tell the publisher that day. No, no E. Yeah, I tell you at the Jordan Lucas show when they put up when I performed there, they had my name outside and they had a whole E on it. I was like, man, nobody ever gonna find my name, bro. I barely had any tracks out at the moment. I'm like, nope. Well, there it go. I just wasted this 600 bucks on nah, it. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
All right, man. So um, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, man. Thank you for your time. Um, we're going to get out of here with uh, a track of yours called No Vacation to bump us on the way out, man. So thank you for your time, brother. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, not because you are part of the team, but I'm really looking forward to um, this project and just being there with you doing a lot of the stuff that you're the stuff that you're doing, man. The future is just brighter than shit for you, man. I'm telling you, you you got it. You're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be amazing, and it's gonna be so it's gonna be so re- well received, man. And I hope you're ready for it. I hope you're ready to catch all these blessings that's coming, man. Man, I am. I'm ready to go full force with it, man. All right, cool. All right, so let me go ahead and do this little sign off with you know difficult roles often lead to most beautiful destinations. Shoot your shot, go for the win. You might make it. Peace. over in class who doesn't speak but he would pass you all the answers in math thinking back i should have charged them fucking kids with some cash and some advice on how to level up and give me some ass mad critical i miss out on bitches when they put out now niggas knock them out like back to back they get the more clout but that's not my niche at the crib it's not the nursery plotting on bad bitches stealing them like it's burglary did we just chop it up a doctor who started surgery he touching on my dick need a condom it's an emergency get her into the room biggest move of uncertainty worrying if i'm worthy sure that my bed is sturdy about to drive the desert Hope that her box is wetter This summer's in California Like some stormy weather For her, I'ma make it rain Claim it's really valid The voting booth is not open Check my name on the ballot, nigga I really need this Working to be prestigious Keep on falling short Come a second like I am this. You can't teach this Talent motives is feed his goals That seem so far really outside of our reaches Beaches in Hawaii sound grand I set up a tent And get to relaxing when I can To do that, I gotta finally move forward With my plan To unify my niggas Get us moving like a clan no time for vacation i travel now it's time to put in work make a legacy before i'm in the dirt no time for vacation a nomad that ain't repping one turf make a statement that can unify the earth no time for vacation work work grind gotta earn my 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 vacation what's life without death what's love without passion this one if only lyrics i'm posting in y'all captures me i want the glory artist painting my story a genius and on dimensions i'll travel like rick and morty find my way like i'm dory back in the house like i'm cory try to craft in my mix so these single moms will adore me do me a little favor that i never forget start to memorize my words i know your love is legit till i come with a hit and everyone knows i'm the shit it way too focused to quit in my fashion loaded with drip i keep reloading the clip i drop a new single with tip and now them niggas that was hating keeping eyes on their chick my one wish i take my people's debt and pay the bills guess i'm wishing for some money cause this blessings can be real got enough from from the devil, when no way I'll take the deal. I'm making sure my niggas make it for these demons. Have me killed, no vacation. No time for vacation. I travel now, it's time to put in work. Make a legacy before I'm in the dirt. No time for vacation. A nomad that ain't repping one turf. Make a statement that can unify the earth. No time for vacation. Work, work, grind. Gotta earn my 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 vacation.